esteemed shareholders namaskar i hope that all of you and your loved ones are well and safe the covid-19 pandemic is a humanitarian crisis it has tested the very spirit of humanity but even in the darkest hour our spirit has shone bright we as a people have come together and fought this battle with immense empathy and compassion reliance foundation over the last 11 years has always stood shoulder to shoulder with the people of india in every challenge big or small through good and bad times we have tried to make a difference to the lives of 45 million indians across the country in the remotest villages and towns of india we have found and created stories of hope of change of transformation and so last year when humanity was struck with the worst crisis in over a hundred years we did our best to help in whichever way we could and did so urgently while our top priority this year was covid relief we ensured that we continued all our other developmental work as well we remained committed to our vision for education and sport for all within days of the outbreak our 14 schools turned into digital schools they became safe havens of positivity and learning for thousands of students who embraced virtual schooling with unimaginable enthusiasm we have also worked very hard through these challenging times to bring our dream project the geo institute to life geo institute is envisioned to be an exemplary academic institution with a world class platform for research innovation and lifelong learning it will prepare the next generation of global leaders who will significantly contribute to the advancement of india and the world despite the pandemic i am pleased to announce that geo institute is all set to commence academic sessions at the campus in navi mumbai this year itself this year we also launched reliance foundation scholarships in artificial intelligence and computer science for undergraduates and postgraduates beyond education sport has been another symbol of hope a medium to delight and inspire the world in these times in 2020 our champions mumbai indians brought in a lot of joy and cheer to millions by winning their fifth ipl trophy i wish our team all the best for the upcoming second leg of the ipl 2021 our football league isl became the first the longest and the biggest sporting event to be held entirely in india with complete safety protocols during the pandemic it took more than 1600 people in 18 different bio bubbles across 14 different locations in goa to pull off season 7 of the indian super league very successfully apart from cricket and football we continue to focus on other sports like athletics archery basketball badminton and weightlifting we have reached out to over 21.5 million children through our grassroots initiatives in various sports all across india we hope to develop a holistic ecosystem that identifies and trains our young champions of tomorrow speaking of champions i would like to wish all our athletes of team india all the very best for the upcoming tokyo olympic games on a personal note in december last year Mukesh and I became proud grandparents to our dearest Akash and Shlokas precious baby boy Prithvi Akash Ambani 
Thank you all for your good wishes and blessings on this happy occasion in our family, friends. I am a big believer in the phenomenal power of women. I believe that when women lean on women, incredible things happen. It is my dream and mission to empower every girl in India to write her own destiny. On Women's Day in March this year, we launched a digital platform for women called Her Circle. Her Circle is an inclusive, collaborative, interactive and socially conscious digital movement. A circle of solidarity, sisterhood and growth. Reliance Foundation also partnered with USAID to launch the Women Connect India Challenge this year. A partnership that aims to empower more and more Indian women with digital reach and opportunity. Digital technology truly is the backbone of this new world order. Using the power of digital, we also help rural communities safeguard their lives and livelihoods from the natural calamities that affected India this year. Be it the floods in Assam and Uttarakhand or the cyclones on our eastern and western coast. Friends, now I would like to take you through the work that Reliance Foundation is doing in our nation's fight against the pandemic. Over the past 15 months, for Mukesh and me, the top priority has been to do whatever we can to help our nation and our people in these difficult times. Reliance Foundation launched five missions to fight the virus. Mission Oxygen, Mission COVID Infra, Mission Anna Seva, Mission Employee Care and Mission Vaccine Suraksha. Let me start with Mission Oxygen. As you all know, India faced an acute shortage of oxygen as soon as COVID cases began to surge earlier this year. Reliance swung into action on a war footing immediately. Traditionally, we have never produced medical grade liquid oxygen. Yet, when the need arose, we repurposed our Jamnagar refinery within days to produce high purity medical grade liquid oxygen. And within two weeks, we ramped up production to a massive 1,100 metric tons per day. It would normally take over a year to set up a new medical grade oxygen plant of this capacity. But it was a superhuman effort by our Reliance engineers who put in more than 85,000 man hours of work in less than 10 days to make it possible. They delivered what mattered the most, when it mattered the most. You will feel proud to know that today, Reliance is producing over 11% of India's medical-grade liquid oxygen, the highest by a single company at a single location. We are providing this Pran Vayu oxygen to one out of every 10 COVID patients in India and offering this service to the nation free of cost. For Mukesh and me, and every member of our Reliance family, this opportunity to serve humanity is the noblest of all noble causes. Friends, in the oxygen supply chain, we have addressed India's serious bottleneck of tankers. Reliance procured 100 new medical grade oxygen tankers, both from within India and other parts of the world, like Germany, Singapore, Saudi Arabia, Netherlands, Belgium, Thailand, Indonesia, and put them into service within two weeks. We also helped in installing oxygen generators in several hospitals across the country to strengthen oxygen availability. I salute all our engineers, doctors, and frontline warriors for working selflessly 
and tirelessly for mission oxygen. Dear shareholders, the key to fighting the pandemic is a strong COVID care infrastructure. That is what we have tried to achieve through Mission COVID Infra. Last year, within days of the coronavirus outbreak, we set up India's first dedicated 250-bedded COVID facility in Mumbai. By the time the second wave hit us, we had set up additional 875 beds for COVID care in Mumbai alone. Across India, we created a total capacity of over 2,000 beds for COVID care, all equipped to provide uninterrupted oxygen supply and totally free of cost treatment. We also launched a COVID testing lab with a capacity of over 15,000 tests per day. The entire medical fraternity are the real heroes of this fight. They have put their own lives at risk to save others, day after day. They have stayed isolated and away from their families and loved ones to care for us. They have worked long hours at a stretch, wearing full PPE kits, but never complained. They have compromised their own health and gone way beyond their call of duty. Dr. Tarang, Dr. Darshna, Dr. Vivek, Sister Aneta, Sister Agnes, Sister Kusum, Brothers Chandrasekhar and Omkar, Managers Akansha and Kumkum, Shivam, Vikas, Trinet, Mayank, Mayuri and countless others. They became like friends and families for patients in COVID wards, caring for them, cheering for them, sometimes singing and dancing for them. Their bravery, their selflessness and their large-heartedness is a tribute to humanity in its purest form. As a community, we owe each and every frontline warrior a huge debt. With folded hands, I salute their spirit of care and sacrifice. A big thank you on behalf of all of us. A heartfelt dhanyavad. Friends, in the early days of the lockdown, we launched Mission Anna Seva. 